Hello everyone, it's your girl Angela at Angela's Southern Comfort Dishes and Seasonings. Okay, so today's Southern Comfort Dish I bring to you is my homemade Georgia Southern Sweet Potato Pie, okay? So I have all my ingredients right here, and so we're gonna get started with everything that we're doing, okay? So let mama bring you all over here and show you what we're doing, okay? All right, so we have, um, I've cooked 14 sweet potatoes, okay? So I've got 14 sweet potatoes, they're ready to go. I have about mm, a cup and a half of white granulated sugar. I have four large eggs, and the reason why is like I said, I have 14 sweet potatoes. I have one, uh oh Jesus, I got one cup of milk, I just spilled it, honey. Okay, hold on, let mama bring y'all back some, y'all can see what mama got. I got a cup of sugar, I got some vanilla flavor, honey. I got me some um, pet milk over here, evaporated milk. I got a can of carnation. I don't need both. I have my ground cinnamon, my nutmeg, some ginger, some brown sugar, white granulated sugar, honey, and we're going to get started for the one time, okay? That's what Mama doing, honey. I just want y'all to see what Mama doing. So let's get this party cranking right about now. So this is the way I like to do my sweet potato pie, okay? I don't like going to people's... Um, homes and eating sweet potato pie and you know when you eat the sweet potato pie you feel strings in your mouth you know so what i like to do is i like to mix my sweet potatoes a couple of times and rinse the cake beaters off with hot water and that way you're removing the you know the strings from the sweet potato that's just one of my pet peeves i hate eating sweet potato pie and you're chewing it and it may taste good and then all you got all these strings in your mouth child ain't got time for that mm -mm. I ain't got time for that, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. Mama's gonna whip her sweet potato. It's gonna take a couple of times until we're free of all the strings in our sweet potatoes, okay? Y'all gonna have to give me for a minute, honey. Y'all know we can't fold. It's a holiday time. We relax, I ain't got time for that, honey. Okay, cool, let's move right on along, sugar. Mama spilled a little bit of milk, but we're gonna get to the good time, okay? So right now, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm, use, I'm not using my KitchenAid stand mixer because I wanted you all to see exactly how I do mine, okay? So we're just going to mix it up. And you know what? I think I'm going to move this to a larger pan. So y'all stay with mama. Stand still. Let me get a large children. Thank you, honey. Mama had to switch over into a different pan. Here we go. So we're just going to blend. Oh, mix, should I say? Just keep mixing. I'm just gonna keep mixing. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna do this a couple of times, okay? Because we wanna get all those strings out and all those dark pieces that you see on the end. You know, when you're baking your sweet potatoes and you're peeling your sweet potatoes, you wanna get all those dark ends off, honey. I told y'all I'm from Columbus, Georgia, honey. And I'm a Georgia girl. You see, you see how those little brown pieces right there that come off the sweet potatoes the little pieces that come off when you're peeling your potatoes honey that's what we want I ain't trying to bite into nobody's sweet potato pies and y'all sitting up here mm -mm. and y'all got all this stuff on there I ain't got time for all that we want a nice smooth creamy lovely texture of a homemade sweet potato pie right with some great flavor running up through that baby all right that's what we want that's how mama and grandmama gave it to us, and that's what we're gonna give to the people, amen? Mm-hmm. Any strings, you know, on your cake beaters, you're gonna see all those strings, just as you see in your sweet potatoes, okay? So it's gonna take a couple of times until you keep mixing your sweet potatoes, and you see all those strings. I don't know if you all can see those strings on my cake beaters. I'm about to rinse them, because that's what you want. Let me whip these up a little bit more. And see, here's another piece of sweet potato skin, and it's gotten hard. So you want that sweet, those hard sweet potatoes. Uh-oh, where it go, sugar? Where mama drop it to? Okay, here it is. Child, I ain't trying to serve nobody nothing with the skin on it, honey. Mm -mm. Throw it in the sink, honey. Let me get a piece of paper towel. I want the people to have nice texture, string-free. Right, so let me show y'all what I'm talking about. I want you all to understand. Because it's just a pet peeve of mine. All right, so you see those strings there? That's what you want to get rid of, those strings. You want to remove 
all those strings. You don't want to bite into sweet potatoes and you got all those strings in there. That's not what you want. So you just turn on the water, hot water, and just rinse it a couple of times. And you're going to keep doing this until all your sweet potatoes are free of strings, okay? Because that's not what you want to serve to people. Okay, just give me a minute. I'm just rinsing these strings off. And you can see all the strings in the water. And that's all right. We'll clean the sink when we're ready to clean up the kitchen and run the dishwasher. Don't worry about all that right now. You just want to get rid of all them strings. That's all you want to get rid of. All right. All right. So we're going to keep mixing. And you'll know when you got off all the strings because... Like I said, it'll take the, it'll take a couple of times while you mixing, you know, keep mixing. You have to keep doing this a couple of times to get rid of the strings. I had a relative of mine one time cooked a sweet potato pie that had a lot of strings growing up as a kid. I don't like no stringy sweet potato pie. When it comes to good food, honey, I don't play around in the kitchen sat around at the table and saw my mother and my grandmother and a couple of my aunts. I ain't got time for that, honey. I want some good old southern eating. Y'all hear me? I'm coming to your house, biting on no pie, trying to ask you whose string this is. Turn your beaters down low. All right. Here, yeah, honey. See, we have a lot of more strings. More strings. Let me show you all what I'm talking about. See that right there? We don't want that in our pies. See all those strings? We don't want all that in our pies. We don't want all that. Cousin Angie wants you all to have an enjoyable holiday. Not just this holiday, but it doesn't even have to be a holiday. It can be any time you want to cook a sweet potato pie. You know, you don't want no strings in your pie. You know what I love? I love when grandma and mama and my Aunt Mary, they would cook, um, you know, whenever grandma didn't want to make the pie crust or, you know, it was a lot of times mama and grandma, they would run down to the store and get the pie shells, honey, the good old pie shells. Ain't talking about the dollar brand, ain't talking about the dollar tree, ain't talking about the dollar general. Y'all know what I'm talking about, the rich pie shells crust. Yeah, the good ones, honey. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah, and whenever they didn't have pie shells, they would make up the sweet potatoes, just as if you're making a sweet potato pie, and they would put it in a nine by 13 casserole dish, baking in the oven, they call that sweet potato souffle. My Aunt Mary and my Uncle Louis, they would melt marshmallows on top of theirs, okay? So there's different ways you can do it. I'm not a marshmallow lover. I don't care for marshmallows, but it's optional if that's what you like to do, okay? Yeah, honey. I ain't trying to chew down on the strings, honey. I like to just keep blending and blending and blending, you know, mixing up my potatoes until I'm free. And you'll know when you're free because when you move your remove your cake beaters, you'll start to see less of strings. And that's what you want. I don't mess around in the kitchen. I take my time. I ain't trying to rush, honey. Because when you rush, you have a nasty meal and it ain't going to come out right, honey. The people going to be talking. I ain't got time for all that. Mm -mm. I'm going to give it to you the way mama and grandma and auntie them gave it to me, honey. Straight from the hip. That's what we're going to bring to the table. Amen? All right. All right, hold on. All right, now see. We got some more strings here. And we don't want to lose too much sweet potatoes, but we got to get rid of the strings. That's what it is. And see when you tap on it. And look, I got another piece of the brown shell skin that came off. All right, so you want to get rid of all that there. The mama over here to rinse off these strings again. Just rinsing these under hot water. You all bear with me for a minute. All right. 
No strings attached here, honey. Mm -mm. I ain't trying to have no conversation with you, honey. And you, I'm in here talking to you at the sweet potato pie, honey. And I'm thinking I'm about to eat me a Georgia sweet potato pie or somebody's sweet potato pie. And I, here I am biting on the shrink. Girl, I ain't got time for you. Hold on for the one time. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's what we're talking about, honey. Happy holidays. <laughs> just boil these sweet potatoes and whip them up and add all the you know the ingredients like I said uh-uh I want you to have a nice rich creamy nice textured sweet potato pie that's what Angela honey cousin Angie gonna give it to you just the way grandma gave it to you honey you know grandma grandma ain't gave us no stringy sweet potato pie so honey cousin Angie ain't about to give it to you either sugar no ma'am and no sir mm -mm. I see another piece of the uh, sweet potato skin right there, a little brown speck. Honey, yes, I gotta get all that down. Cause grandmama didn't give it to us, so why we gonna give it to the people, amen? When you peel your sweet potatoes, honey, gotta keep a watchful eye. Gotta keep a watchful eye. Sweet potato skin, strings. Yeah, that's what we looking for. All those strings. I'm glad I had Cousin Angie was able to show y'all the string sugar. And like I said, it's going to take some time. And it's all right because you don't want to rush the process, right? And don't think I'm getting rid of the sweet potato. Mm -mm, honey, we're getting rid of them strings. Because as we add our ingredients, you'll see we never lost anything, sugar. Georgia Peach, baby. Ain't about to play with y'all in this kitchen. I don't know what y'all came to do. I came to cook. I came to party, I came to eat, and I need some good eating, all right, ma'am? Let's get straight to the party. <laughs> up you know keep looking at my cake beaters to see you know what the string level is at. I, I'm just trying to get rid of as many strings as I can guys that's the whole concept no strings in your sweet potato pies and you want to make sure you whip all those clumps up you know the sweet potatoes you want to make sure you get all those too even though they'll cook down in the oven still have some more let me show you here show you all strings okay see all those strings that's not what you want in your sweet potato pies it's not what you want okay so I'm gonna come back as soon as I'm done getting out all the strings okay everyone so we're back we got all the strings out of our sweet potatoes okay so next what I'm gonna do is I'm going to have my four eggs and I'm not going to whip them up okay I had my fork there so I can get the pieces of the you know sweet potatoes so I got one egg two eggs three egg four egg I had 14 sweet potatoes okay so that's the reason why I'm using so many all right so now I'm going to mix this up <laughs>
all right and you see we don't have any strings on our cake beaters all right so now next what i'm going to add in is i have about less than a half a cup this is a half a cup right all right you see the measurement it's a half a cup but i'm using less than half a cup and this is our ground nutmeg okay that's what this is a ground nutmeg and like i said this is less than half a cup because i had 14 sweet potatoes okay all right all right that's what we're doing don't question cousin angie honey cousin angie don't told y'all what we're doing all right and lord hammer to help our soul jesus is smelling good all right now this is a ground ginger honey we're gonna have to be careful with this okay so i'm not gonna do a teaspoon i'm about to let everybody know for the one time we're not about to do all that okay well, I'm not about to do all that, honey. Auntie Angie, Cousin Angie, whatever you want to call me. This is less than a teaspoon, okay? Less than a teaspoon of ginger. A little ginger go a long way. That's what the people told me. That's what we're going to do, all right? I don't mean by the people. I'm talking about the grandmama, the mama, the cousin, the auntie. Child, we got it. Y'all work with a sister like me. Amen. All right. We ain't about to put all the ginger over this way. All right. Now we're going to move on down to our cousin named Ground Cinnamon. You know, Ground Cinnamon... <laughs> She not my cousin, but you know, hey, I'm gonna do it for the one time, okay? I'm going down here to the ground cinnamon because you know there's not a sweet potato pie without the ground cinnamon. Y'all don't see any cousin ground cinnamon, right? So okay, so we're gonna go on in here. And I guess cinnamon's supposed to be our friend. She wanted to be a tablespoon, but we ain't about to give her all our tablespoon, okay? We're gonna give her about a oh Lord Jesus. Yeah, let's go on and get cinnamon over here on tablespoon. We just put her on in there, let her dance her way in the pan, man. All right, here we go. For the one time. Cinnamon gone. I ain't got time for cinnamon in them. Okay. All right. So cinnamon gone, girlfriend. Look here. We got some light brown sugar. And I'm going to tell you for the one time, Cousin Angie got a cup of it. All right. Light brown sugar. Now, that's our cousin. All right. See, she don't scoop her ass up in that way. She don't got up in there. All right. Well, hold on. We ain't finished. Hold on for the one time. Child, we about to put us a stick. Yes, ma'am. Salted butter. Yes, sir. And yes, ma'am. You don't need no two. You don't need no three. Go on and whip her over in there. I don't told y'all I'm trying to help y'all bring the people back to the next party, the next family gathering. I don't care if this is a virtual um, COVID, Thanksgiving, Christmas, whatever you want to call it, honey. The purpose of the matter is somebody from the church may come by. Y'all know the people still going to be dropping through there, honey. They ain't about to drop over this way, but I'm just saying y'all know how to get down for the get down, okay? Put that in your little trash can. Remember, hey, little trash can by the side. I done told y'all one time, Okay. Because, you know, that way when you finish cleaning up, toss your trash out. Amen. All right, look here. So we got about a cup and a half of white grain laid of sugar. We're going to just start with half, okay? Just half. Y'all see the cousin I told y'all half. Leave the other half over here at the party. All right? And look, we got us a little pet milk over here. You know, a little evaporated milk. I don't want y'all people talking about she feeding the pet milk. No, child, the evaporated milk, son. That's what we're talking about. Amen. So we're going to leave petting them over that way. Let me get me a nap and I'm got my sweet potatoes on my hand. All right, all right, all right. Put that right there for the one time. Now we ain't gonna touch the evaporated milk, your pet milk, whatever y'all wanna call it. Right now, we gonna move over here to the party, okay? I'm telling y'all what we about to do. We about to put a half a tablespoon of some vanilla extract in here. Mm-hmm, I'm in love with the vanilla. I just want all y'all to know, so don't ask me nothing about it, okay? All right, that's less than half a tablespoon, okay? That was not a whole half right there. That was less than half. We don't need no more. I'm trying to have a vanilla bean party, okay? But y'all got me shaking shit over here. Hold on for the one time. Hold on. Mm -mm, excuse me. Mm-hmm. Oh, my Lord, Jesus. Want to do it? Yes, he will. Child, come on, let's get the mixing. Oh, now, my stick of salty butter is room temperature. I forgot to let you know. And so are my eggs. Hold on, honey. The butter. I gotta make sure the butter get it mixing up in there, honey. And the brown sugar in there. She got to get mixed up too, honey. There you go. I'm gonna start adding me a little bit of milk in just a minute. My whole milk. This is whole milk right here. We're not gonna pour the whole cup. We're just gonna pour a little bit, okay?
right? So now, I just had a few drops of, you know, whole milk. Okay, so now listen, this is what we wanna do. Take our napkin, honey. Shake that milk up, honey. And let's clean the top of our can, honey. All right? Shake that milk, honey. Don't go throwing it at nobody. And she told you to shake the daggone milk. It's been sitting on the counter in the shelves and wherever you don't got it from, honey. Shake the milk. All right, cool beans. They don't been shook up. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and make sure we drop the milk. Let's make sure we got everything on top. Okay, piece of silver. That's fine. Thought it was something else. Had a reflection. That's fine. All right. Now we're not gonna we're not gonna need two cans. All right. Just gonna need one gonna have a nice creamy texture to your pie okay all right now tonight we're not gonna go over there and do like mama grandma and them did and get a little water and empty it over here in our pot girl we ain't got time for that that is not gonna go over here we better have no water milk down sweet potato pie cousin angie did not tell y'all to do that in the sweet potato pot lord jesus help the children and if you feel like your sweet potatoes is a little bit too loose get you about a tablespoon or two of uh, some self-rising flour all right <laughs> So good. So now at this time, what I want to do is I want to take my spoon and I want to go around the side of my pan, all right? And um, if you don't want to use a spoon, it's okay. Use a cake spatula, okay? And go ahead and scrape all that from under the bottom, okay, on the top, okay? You just want to go ahead and well incorporate it. Just making sure, you know, you get the, this under the bottom, you know, in case it's not blending well. Just go ahead and, you know, fold it over a couple of times. Make sure that we get our sweet potatoes well incorporated with our ingredients all right that's all we doing right here y'all we ain't got no strings up in these sweet potatoes mm -mm. mommy ain't got time for it mm -mm. ain't come to no string party this ain't covid stream party this our party amen sorry for the banging i gotta get all my sweet potatoes because i had 14 i paid for them i told y'all to save y'all money don't throw y'all money away you brought 14 sweet potatoes go ahead and get 14 off that spoon there you go boom there it is all right look at here sweetie we're going to go ahead and add a little bit more sugar, okay? You may say, well, Angie, that's a lot of sugar, child. It's not a lot of sugar. Trust what I'm trying to tell you. And you can't hit a hand on nasty sweet potato pie. We got 14 sweet potatoes. We need to go ahead and jazz it up for the one time. mother always told us to just pull up your beaters you know a little bit not too fast but on a low speed so watch this i'm gonna put it back down in here so watch what i'm talking about just lightly slowly just slowly bring it up on top slowly just bring it up and that way you won't have a lot of that you know goodness splattering everywhere all right as you notice i haven't used a whole cup of whole milk right that's not our intended purpose what i want us to do right now though is i want to just get a little whip of this sweet potato right here for the one time right here and put it on my finger and see what we trying to work with. 
Mm-hmm. That's all right, sugar. Mama trying to go ahead and get a little bit more sugar because that ain't even what we have. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. And that ain't even it. We're going to empty the rest of that on over in that room just like that. And let me go ahead. I got some sugar behind me, honey, just in case we're going to need some more at the party. Okay. I ain't about to sit here and eat y'all sweet potato pie and got no sugar in it. I'm sorry. 14 sweet potatoes. I better bite into a pie that's full of flavor. Now, I'm not, I'm not telling you we're having a sugar party. That's not what a cousin Angie told you. I'm just saying I ain't trying to have no sweetless sweet potato pie. You said sweet? I'm trying to look for it. Now, for those of you who are diabetic, borderline diabetic, you can use Splenda, NutraSweet, whatever's floating in your boat, okay? Right now, we got 14 sweet potatoes up in here, and Mama needs some sweet potatoes, okay? Um, we're going to need some more nutmeg, because nutmeg didn't come out the party right, okay? So, how much we going to use, Cousin Angie? I'm glad you asked me that part of the movie. So, I think what we should do is go ahead and put about another tablespoon in there. Let's count it off like that. Oh, Jesus. Okay, there go a tablespoon, everybody. Let's see if that bring it on home. That should bring it on home right there. Okay. Oh, Lord. All right. Let's see what part of the movie we working with right here. All right, let me see a little bit more. Honey, this is leading up to about two cups of sugar right here. All right. a little bit more water. I mean, not water, excuse me, milk. Just a little bit. You don't need much. You notice we haven't even used the whole cup, not even half a cup. You don't want a super sweet potato pie now. You don't want a sweet ball pie. You just want a nice, tasty, sweet potato pie. We're not looking for a five pound bag or 10 pound bag. No, we're just, we're just looking for that right sweetness, you know, that you like, what you're looking for. Always season your food. Taste your food to make sure it's seasoned. And sweeten, you know, whatever it is you're cooking. Make sure it's seasoned well. Make sure it's, you know, to your likeness, your desiredness, okay? Oh, Lord, child, we ain't trying to handle the splatter. Now, Mama going back over here for the party for the one time. See what we working with, child. See what we working with. We're going to need a little bit more sugar. I'm going to go and tell y'all that for the one time. Mm-hmm. Let Mama help y'all people out. Hold on. There it is. There's about two cups of sugar I don't put in there. Hold on. Hold on. Man, it's really bitter. And I didn't mean to use the word y'all people, I didn't mean it like that. <clears throat> what I'm trying to say is cousin Angie need to go ahead and make sure we sweet, baby. It smells so good. But we need to make sure it tastes good. You see what I'm saying? <clears throat> you can taste a tiny bit of sugar. You don't really taste the sweetness. Like I said, maybe because I have a lot of sweet potatoes. I don't know. But I need to get it right there. Just like Mama's supposed to bring it to you, sugar. I'm not about to give you something that the children don't need on their table. Amen. Mama's going to bring it to you, honey, just the way it's supposed to be on the table, sugar. But when I come to your house, I need to say, oh, yeah, Cousin Angie. That's Cousin Angie probably right there, baby. Cousin Brenda, Aunt Brenda, whoever Brenda, Lucy May, Rico, Rocco, y'all know what we're talking about. We can folks, right? All right, hold on. Let's see what we're working with, child. Forgot to hit the fork there. I just seen it, child. Let's see what we're working with, child. She's like Grandma did. Mm. Now the Lord is blessing on that pie. Hold on, child. Let me go over here and wash my hand, child. Y'all work with Mama for the one time. All right, 
I forgot to mention and I do apologize. My oven is set to 350, okay? All right, so tonight I'm gonna go ahead and get the sweet potatoes in the oven. Now I will tell you, the pie is coming along perfect. That was two cups of sugar. Let's go ahead and knock out a half. <clears throat> so this came 14 sweet potatoes, two and a half cups of sugar. Is that half? Yep, that's half. So here's the other half. So it's 14 sweet potatoes, two and a half cups of sugar. All right, 14 sweet potatoes, two and a half cups of sugar. And I'm just gonna add a tiny bit more milk in here. We don't need too much. It's probably about a third of a cup of milk I'll put in there, a whole milk. I promise you that this pie is going to be all that, baby. You'll probably eat the pie before the guests get there. It's all right. Even if they're coming on virtual, honey. Go ahead and eat the pie, honey. They ask you what happened to it. Tell them, honey. Cousin Angie told me to go and eat it because y'all going to be calling late. Amen. All right now. All right. Mm, smells so good. Don't you agree? Y'all got to smell this pie, honey. This damn pie smells so good. It's going to taste damn good, too. So we don't have no strings in our sweet potatoes. We want to make sure we get everything well incorporated. No more sugar. That should have taken care of it. All right, Kiara, excuse me one minute, everybody. Kiara, let me get the uh, pie shells. They're in the top freezer over there. All right, so what, what Mama gonna do right now, everyone, we're gonna go ahead and um, make sure we get all of our sweet potatoes along the side and Go ahead, stir from the bottom. You see how everybody everything's the same color. Before, when we got it from the bottom, you could tell there was a dark color. Now look, everything's the same. Well incorporated. That means that everything wasn't mixing under the bottom, okay? Now, my daughter is getting my pie shells for me, all right? So, you know, mom and grandma always taught us, you wanna just prick a few holes along the sides of your pie crust and, you know, along the bottom. Why? Because when you're baking, the pie crust tends to poof up, okay? So you want to get some air bubbles between there, okay? The pie crust in the pan, all right? You want everything to cook evenly, all right? That's what we're doing. All right, cool. All right, so listen, let mama go ahead and uh, try this stuff out right here, honey. Mm, God have mercy. Child, it's knocking out the box, honey. That don't knock out the box. Let me put this over here, child. So... Let me get about, uh, let me get one pack here. I'm sorry, everyone, my daughter's getting my pie shells for me. All right. Give me one moment, my daughter's giving my pie shells for me. You can put those on back for me. All right, move this out the way. All the ingredients, the exact ingredients will be below the video as well, all right? So, what we're gonna do here now is I'm going to go ahead and put some of this up. And the reason why, the clean up around here, the reason why is because you can't just use your pie crust right away straight out the freezer. You want them to let it sit out for about, mm, my good, five or 10 minutes, okay? And then, um, then that's when we'll go ahead, prick our holes in and around the sides and in the base of the pie crust, okay? And these are the Pet Ritz pie crust. This is what I use, okay? They didn't have any deep dish. That is my favorite, okay? But we got what they had, the regular. I ain't got time for the Walmart brand. I ain't got time for the Aldi brand. I ain't got time for the Dollar Tree brand, the CVS brand, whoever got a brand out there. No honey bun. Mama used the Pet Ritz pie crust. That's who mama used, that's all mama like. That's who grandmama and mama used, that's what cousin Angie got y'all to use. Now you use whatever's your preference, amen? Right I'm not telling you, I'm just telling you, cousin Angie bringing it home like grandmama and mama them did. That's all I'm trying to say. From Georgia, baby, we gonna do it the Georgia peach way, amen? All right, man, that's what we are talking about. Now listen, mama gonna come back on here and bring you all a video with the homemade pie crust. Don't ask Cousin Angie to make that right now, honey. 
It's Thanksgiving. I ain't that dad going thankful. I ain't about to do that tonight. Amen. No, 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 no. No, sir. No, ma'am. So look. Now, for those who, when you make your sweet potato pies and you're not going to, you're not going to, um, bake them right away. Look, get you some parchment paper. Let me show you something. Get you some parchment paper. If you know you're not going to bake your sweet potato pies right away, get you some parchment paper. Put your, after your pie crust doesn't settle. Now, see, we're going to wait for this to get room temperature and we're going to work her way on the back on the side, okay? Don't worry about that. That looked deformed. Mm-mm, honey. Listen, it was the way it was packaged when they put it in the stove. It was probably too, you know, too loose or too warm. Listen, when they loosen it up just a little bit, I'm just going to work it along the sides. Just know how grandma and mama taught us. Just kind of take your fingers and just push it back lightly, softly. You don't want to go fast and then rip it, okay? But listen, if you're not going to cook your sweet potato pies right away, remember to wait till they get room temperature, five or ten minutes. A little soft. That's what we're looking for, a little soft. Not all the way soft, just a little bit. You got to prick your holes. A couple of rows of holes down here with a fork. Go around the sides, okay? Put our sweet potatoes in there. Level it off the way you want. Make sure we got all the air bubbles out. You know how mama, grandma taught us with the cake. Put a piece of parchment paper on top, okay? Then put, after you do that, honey, don't go get no foil, honey. No. Mama needs y'all to get the clad. Go down there and be glad. You want the sweet potato pies to be glad. Put the parchment paper on top of the, when you put the sweet potatoes in there. Put the parchment paper on top. Put a clean wrap on it, a piece of glad, clean wrap on it, and then store it in your freezer. Amen. And then when you're ready to cook, you take the pie out the freezer and you take the wrap off and you let your pie sit out for about mm, 15 minutes. Go on and put it in the oven on 350 for the one time. Amen. All right. The mama gonna come back to y'all in about 10, 15 minutes. So I can get this little room temperature. And the mama gonna show the children how we're gonna get down. All right. I'll be yeah. one. So now it's time for us to put our pie together, honey. And mama been here trying to mend the pie crust together, honey. So what you want to do is use your your thumbs lightly around here. Then take a five minutes for it to get real soft, okay? We're not trying to lose the texture of this and get it too soft, honey. So just use your little thumbs, honey. Try to put the little pieces together like a band-aid, honey. Just press it, honey, because it's, it's many. See there? We're putting it back together. Now, it's real soft. I'm going to prick a few holes in it, okay? Get some air between the pie crust and the pan, okay? You don't want your crust to puff up in the middle, and then, you know, when you go to cut your pie for yourself, your guests, or your loved ones, you know, you got a big old piece of, you know, pastry pie crust with a air pocket bubble in it okay that's not what you want sugar not that is not what mama wants your children to do just as you see me here just little crumbs coming from the pie crust as you see me here just put some you know little holes with your fork around the side around the middle just as you seen cousin angie do just keep turning oh you feel like you skip a couple places let's go back it's all right just go back it ain't got to be perfect honey we just need to make sure we get some air through there honey all right see that make sure y'all what we're working with just like that okay all right i'm gonna do the same thing here clean off my space again with some warm soapy hot water keep your bag right there so you can get your trash in there just like mama put in her little trash bag got a little kroger's bag or whatever grocery store you go to just put your little bag right there honey when you finish cooking you clean your area with some warm soapy hot water you know, you make sure you get everything cleaned up and sweet and all that kind of good madness you got to do in the kitchen. Amen. All right. So, making sure we're making our way around a little pie crust. We got to move fast, honey, because the pie crust is coming apart, honey. It's just little ends of the pie crust. Like I said, you skip a couple of places, just go back with your fork or your knife, whatever. I prefer to use a fork because that's how mama them did it, her and grandma. Okay. So, you know me, I'm going to bring it to you straight. Like mom and grandma and did okay all right cousin angie ready to go child so come on listen my oven is on 350 honey we're gonna let this pie these two pies in there bake for about 45 50 minutes okay and you'll know it's done because when you go to check on your pie you're gonna just stick a sharp knife or two pick down to put the pie crust in my bag honey you're gonna put the fork or the toothpick down, um, you know, center of the pot. And if it comes out clean, just like a cake, then you know, hey, honey, we in the mix, honey. You know? You wanna get the little air bubbles out, honey. 
get the little air bubbles out. All right, put this hole in here. And don't worry, Mama, gonna get it again, honey. in my oven on it's just these two I'm just gonna put them on the bottom oven make sure they're not touching each other okay spaced apart all right so we're gonna let those cook for about 45 50 minutes and then mama come back to you when they're done okay, okay everyone so I'm back my sweet potato pie is done and it's out of the oven I let it sit and cool down for room temperature of 30 minutes Honey, I couldn't wait. I'm sorry. Cousin Angela couldn't wait, y'all, honey. I hate to cut me not one slice, honey, but two slices, okay? Let me tell you, you can taste the hints of ginger in there. It's sweet and just right. Just right. Nice, moist, creamy. Charlotte, Cousin Angela, come on over here and show y'all with this homemade Georgia Southern sweet potato pie. Look like it tastes like. Child ain't playing with y'all. This is what you want, okay? Told y'all to come on over to Cousin Angie's house. Angie ain't playing with y'all, honey. When I gets down in the kitchen, mama gets down over here in the damn kitchen. Come on over here and let mama show y'all what we working with. Baby, look at that pie. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus, deliver you a sweet potato pie, honey. Look at that pie. Child, I don't eat. I told y'all I'm not playing with y'all. I am not. Mm-hmm. I don't know what the hell y'all came to do. I came to have a good time. And to have a party. That's what the hell Angie came to do. I'm trying to be nice, honey. Because I eat this whole damn pie. Y'all think I'm playing? I told y'all. I got two slices. I ain't even playing. Pie's so good, child. You eat the crust. I ain't about to throw none of that away. You hear me? Mm, 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 mm. Let me just show y'all this pie. Mm, 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 mm. Your child. I was trying to cut it straight. Child, I had to. Child, look. Cousin Angie want y'all to come on over here and taste this damn Georgia homemade sweet potato pie. I ain't about to get pretty with y'all for the one time. We about to eat, honey. Mm, 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 mm. mm. Y'all share this video. Please leave me a thumb up. A thumbs up. I'm sorry. Let me know what you think about this recipe. I want you to try. And then I want you to come back over to Cousin Angie, honey. And let me know what you thought about it. What your friends, your loved one, the people down at the church, around the corner at the hospital, child. Down at the corner at the CVS, the Walgreens. Honey, y'all know what the hell I'm talking about. When they ask you how you made the pie. Y'all remember me in that movie? You remember the movie Poetic Justice? And they stopped down in the park to smell the barbecue to my own cousin Lucky. Tell my cousin Angie sent you sugar. Mm hmm. Mm, 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 mm. I'm sorry. Ain't about to throw nothing away. Ain't about to eat all that on that plate. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. That's to be more damn careful. Mm, mm, mm. Look. Y'all stay safe. Have a safe and happy holiday. I love each and every one of you. Thank you for supporting my page and supporting me and following and subscribing to me. Be sure to share. I'm sorry, honey. Be sure to share this video. Please share my page. I'm on Facebook, Angela Southern Comfort Dishes and Seasonings. I'm on Instagram. On Twitter, I'm under Angela Dishes. So on Twitter, I'm under Angela Dishes. On Instagram, it's Angela Southern Comfort Dishes and Seasonings. Facebook. I also have a private Facebook page for those who 
you know, may want to cook something and you want one-on-one and I can help you one-on-one with it. If you're unsure and you never did it before, you can call me. You have one-on-one. You know, I see you FaceTime, you Google Duo, you whatever. We'll discuss all the kinks, honey. Child, we get down to the nitty-gritty because Angie want to make sure you got the people back over to the house for the next time. All right? All right. Listen. Mama love y'all. I want y'all to stay safe. Love on each other. Please, whatever you do, have a remarkable, enjoyable holiday. But most of all, stay safe because I want to see y'all come on back over here, okay? To Cousin Angie help. Now, look, I ain't trying to hold y'all on. Because, sugar, I'm about to eat this damn pie. I don't give a damn what time it is. I'm about to eat this damn pie, okay? And fix me a drink. I love y'all. Thank you for supporting me. I'll talk to you later. Was in my dreams